Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over the new Shushu Petite Pro Palette from Viseart. <sighs> I know you guys have heard me say it a million and now a million and one times, but I'm so ready for spring and summer. <laughs> and the color of this palette and of itself, this bright, just vibrant pink, gives me all the feels and then you open it up and um, yeah, the feels continue. <laughs> I am going to be doing three different looks with this palette. It will be at the end of the video. Before I do that, I'm going to give you guys all the information and the swatches. The Shushu is number six in the lineup of the Petite Pro palettes from Viseart, and it retails for $30 just like the rest. And I purchased mine on Beautylish. I will have it linked down below. As always, you're getting the little mirror on the inside, which is really great for travel, and all of the pans are removable. So if you want to switch out some shades and travel with them, you can do so. I love the shades in this palette. There's just something about it that really draws me in. Obviously, this is one of my favorite colors, and it's like a neon coral. So beautiful. I love this silver, and it's just, they're gorgeous. You have mattes, metallics, and these duochromes. It's, they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and show you those swatched. First, we have Sand Castle, a sandy beige with a matte finish, Creamsicle, Warm brown with a matte finish, sangria, <laughs> an orange with a shimmer finish, popsicle, bubblegum pink with a matte finish, icy, silver with a metallic finish and a really metallic finish at that, melon, pink red with a matte finish, cotton candy, hot pink with a shimmer finish, and then lastly but certainly not least, sorbet, a shimmering peach with a duochrome finish. That shade I love so much. I think my two favorite, sh ooh, three, my three favorite shades are this one, this one, and then the very last one that had that duochrome effect. I'm gonna swatch this really quickly and kind of rub it down my finger and see if I can show you guys like that duochrome effect that it has. It's like peachy pink and green, and I, I love this shade. It is so pretty. I don't know if it's gonna catch on camera as beautiful as it is in person, but it is stunning. I love this color. With that being said, let me go ahead and just tell you how I feel about the rest of the palette. Because <laughs> obviously you guys know that I love this color. But every single one of the colors in this palette works really, really well. I had zero issues with pigmentation, with blendability. They all are so gorgeous. And there's just something about it. Looking at it, just it's just a little bit different. And... When I first saw it, I kind of thought, you know, oh, we have, you know, a lot of pinks and purples going on. And I thought that this shade down here was going to be more purple, but it's not. It's definitely pink. And when you put these colors together, I feel like they play so well. And my kids just came home and my son immediately commented on this eye look. And I have to agree, I love the color combination. It's really, really pretty. I love the colors that they chose. And yet with these beautiful pops of color and the duochrome and everything in here, and even this beautiful metallic silver, which is, oh my gosh, when you use this wet, like I did on the inner corner of one of the looks, it's like metal. It's like liquid metal. But even with all that, you can still get a daily look. I mean, just there you go, right there. There is your everyday type of look. I love palettes like this that you have the option to kind of play around with, but then you can still grab for it for an everyday type of look. I just really like that kind of style, especially for those of you who don't want to reach outside of a palette in order to create a look. I love this first shade that it is not too light, so it's not a bone white. At least it's not on me. It's more of like my skin tone, but it's not too dark either. So again, I don't have to reach outside of this palette. It's beautiful. The only thing that I could say that could possibly be negative to some, to me, it doesn't bother me, is that you do get a bit of fallout with this palette, mainly with the shimmers. And I know when I use this shade as my little uh, wing, I was using a synthetic brush that's a little stiffer, so it will flick the shadow. So that brush would basically do that with any matte. It wouldn't just be this palette here. You have to keep in mind sometimes the brushes that you use. So I did get fallout, but to me, it's just not that big of a deal. I think this palette is gorgeous. And if you're going to ask me, I give it two thumbs up and I would definitely suggest it. I think it is so pretty. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the three different looks that I created for you guys. Before I do that, I just want to leave you guys with a small message, just letting you guys know that I love you. I know the world is going through a lot right now, and 
my thoughts and prayers are with everybody. I hope everyone is safe. I hope that everyone's family is all right and everybody is just sticking together. And this is something we will get through. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. This number three brush, one of my favorites from Refer, is now available for 50% off at the concept store on Refer.com. It's no promo code, nothing like that. You just go on there and it's 50% off along with several other brushes.
finish off this look, Milk Boss Liner on the inner rim. I have a small little wing on, a pair of Kiss Ritzy lashes, and then for the lips, I have MAC Strip Down with Beauty Lipstick on top.